Hello students. So today we are going to perform our experiment number three in this ENDM laboratory. So in experiment number one and two, you are now already familiar with Wheatstone Bridge and Kelvin's double bridge. So both the bridges are used to measure resistances. And you know that both the bridges are an example of DC bridge. But how we can understand or how we can differentiate whether a bridge is AC or DC? The easy way to recognize a bridge is AC or DC is to identify their source, I mean voltage source. If the voltage source is AC voltage source, then we can say this volt, I mean bridge is AC bridge. But as you know that in uh, Wheatstone bridge and in Kelvin's double bridge, in both the bridges, we are using a DC source. So that's why those are the examples of DC bridges. Now today, uh, I am uh, going to explain one such AC bridge, which is called Maxwell bridge, and that is used to measure self-inductance of a coil. Okay. So without further ado, just uh, let me share my screen. And then I will explain how this Maxwell bridge actually works. Yeah, so hope uh, my screen is visible to you. So here is the definition of Maxwell's bridge. A bridge that is used to measure self-inductance is called Maxwell bridge. And it is uh, some kind of advanced form of Wheatstone bridge. There are mainly two types of Maxwell's bridge. One is called Maxwell's inductance bridge. Another configuration is called Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge. So both the bridges are used to measure self-inductance of a circuit. Okay. So, but they look little bit different. So this is the first one, Maxwell's inductance bridge. This is the circuit diagram. And for the second one, for the Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge, this is the circuit diagram. So we can uh, perform this experiment of measuring self-inductance using any one of them. So for simplicity, okay, I am taking the first one only, okay. So today we are going to analyze this circuit and for that I am opening the VLAB platform. The link of this VLabs platform will be given in the description here. Okay, so you have to click on the simulator tab and then click here to perform the experiment. So this is your kit diagram. Okay, so it is showing a Maxwell inductance bridge. Correct. Now uh, here you have to uh, just perform this. Uh, steps as the previous labs, okay, and you will get the result. Straight, okay. So first point is you have to set the voltage at three volt, as it is written here. Apply supply voltage three volt. So here it is one volt. So you can increase it to three. Correct. And that AC voltage source could be of any arbitrary frequency. So maybe it is fifty hertz. That is fine. Okay. Now you have to select the inductor coil, okay, uh, which kind of coil. So there are two type of coil is attached in this experiment, either ear core or iron core. So you can take any one of them. Let's say, for example, iron co ear core, okay. And after ear core, you have to go, uh, you have to click on the set button below, set inductor value. If you click on the set button, then see for ear core, we know that that L1 and R1 is set as 45 millihenry and 40.2. However, these two readings are unknown to you. You have to find out what is the L1 and R1. But in software or in this platform, it is given that since you have selected air core, that means you are going to perform experiment to find out 45 millihenry and 40.2 ohm. Correct. So now go to the step number three. Now the thing is very easy. You can see 
everything is variable here r3 resistance it is a variable resistance r4 is also a variable resistance r2 is also a variable resistance and l2 r2 this small r2 is the internal resistance of this coil l2 and this inductance is again a variable inductance so we can change all these parameters starting from r2 l2 small r2 r3 and r4 by using the slide switches okay okay and uh, by uh, sliding the switches your objective is to get the null deflection and once you got the null deflection then click on this measure inductor value and then click on this simulate it will calculate what is the inductor value which is expected to be 45 henry and what will be the resistance value which is again expected to be near about 40 ohm correct and quality factor will also be calculated fine so that is the aim of the object uh, i mean objective of this experiment now uh, after setting this 3 and 50 and all those stuff you have to just switch on the circuit okay so now it is turned on and you can see initially it deflects to 1427 millivolt okay so you have to somehow uh, i mean change this value suppose for example if i change this value see it is uh, drastically changing like from 1427 if i increase the value to r2 r2 a bit then uh, it becomes now 68.870 and so on you have to find out the null position okay null position so for uh, uh, without wasting time i have taken two such readings okay but from experiment suppose for this is already done for air core okay for air core as you can see this is for air core and this is a experimental value like for this r3 r2 l2 and r2 r4 value okay we are getting almost a null position okay that is 0 0.000 then 99837 i think that okay it is quite enough for uh, close to null position so that's why i come to this measured uh, i mean um, i mean this measured indicator value and click on simulator then i am getting inductor value is 43.9 which is very close to 45 of course there is some error why because uh, if you want to uh, get no error so that means you have to nullify these errors also i mean zero point all zeros followed by almost all zeros so of course you are welcome to uh, find out the exact null position okay uh, which is more accurate than this no problem okay just go for it but this is for example a set of value so i am getting 43.9 almost equal to 44 millihenry the actual is 45 okay there are some error similarly resistance value is 40.2 i guess but i am getting here 40.9 so uh, for this particular set of values we are getting a null position so similarly you have to take at least three readings and in the observation table you have to write down what is your voltage that means 3 volt what is your frequency that is frequency 50 hertz then what is your value of iron core you have taken iron core or what is your true value and then uh, just uh, in each and every column you have to mention r2 l2 small r2 r3 r4 value correct so in this way you can calculate and uh, of course you can also mention this in table i mean uh, measured inductor value measured resistance value and calculate the error in case of inductance only okay that is the way to write your lab report okay so that's all for today thank you